I was a huge fan of Marvel Comics, and my absolute favorite character was Spider-Gwen. I had collected every comic that featured her, and my shelves were adorned with her adventures. Even her brief appearances in TV shows and movies had a special place in my heart. I was the kind of fan who could talk endlessly about her and her world. But during the lockdown, I began questioning things, especially my identity. I had always thought of myself as comfortable in my own skin as a guy, but the solitude and introspection of those days made me consider other possibilities. Maybe there was more to me than I had ever realized. Then, I stumbled upon an online cosplay contest, and an idea started to form. It felt like a perfect opportunity to explore the thoughts that had been swirling in my head. Without hesitation, I ordered a Spider-Gwen costume online with same-day delivery and rang up my best friend, Emma, to ask for her help. Emma, always supportive and understanding, came over with a bag full of different items, makeup, a wig, a corset, underwear, and breast forms. We met to pick up the costume, and soon we got to work, embarking on a transformative journey. First, I stripped down, and Emma handed me the underwear. She expertly attached the breast forms, securing them in place with a bra and a corset. Then came the moment of truth as I slipped into the Spider-Gwen suit. The skin-tight outfit, combined with the corset, made me pass extraordinarily well. Emma, with her skilled hands, worked on my face and finally placed the wig atop my head. We couldn't contain our excitement as Emma led me outside for a quick impromptu photoshoot for the contest. When we returned inside and I looked at myself, I was shocked, but in the best way. It was as if the pieces of the puzzle had finally fallen into place. I was over the moon, and the thought became undeniable. I was Alexandra, a trans girl. One month later, I had become adept at doing my own makeup and applying my breast forms. I spent all my time as Alexandra, and I'd never felt more like myself. I entered the cosplay contest and effortlessly won, using the prize money to buy a whole new wardrobe, filled with outfits that truly expressed who I was. As the lockdown restrictions gradually lifted, I started using my costume for public appearances, turning my passion into a job. It was a journey of self-discovery and acceptance that had brought me closer to being my true self, thanks to the support of Emma and the courage to embrace who I was meant to be. The public appearances as Spider-Gwen became a transformative experience for me. It was more than just a costume, it was a symbol of my newfound identity and a way to inspire others to be their authentic selves. I started attending local conventions and events, meeting people who shared my love for Spider-Gwen and my journey of self-discovery. The feedback from fans was overwhelming. Many came up to me to express their support and gratitude for being an advocate for transgender individuals and for being unapologetically true to myself. It was heartwarming to see how my story could touch the lives of others, giving them the courage to embrace their own identities. My best friend Emma continued to be my rock throughout this adventure, joining me at conventions, helping me perfect my Spider-Gwen appearances, and providing unwavering support. She was the one who had helped me find the confidence to be Alexandra in the first place, and her friendship was invaluable. With each public appearance, my confidence grew. I had discovered my passion for cosplay and found a supportive community that celebrated diversity. I used my platform to raise awareness about transgender issues and promote acceptance, understanding, and love. It was an unexpected and beautiful turn of events. As Alexandra, I learned to do more than just dress up as my favorite superhero. I learned to embrace my own unique superpower, the power to be true to myself, to inspire others, and to help foster a world where everyone could feel comfortable in their own skin. With the lessons I'd learned and the support I had found, I was ready to take on whatever challenges lay ahead in my new life as Alexandra. I couldn't be more grateful for the journey that had led me to this point, and I looked forward to making a difference in the world as my authentic self.